Hi, Josh here. Today I'm testing the performance characteristics of the QDD100 Quasi Direct Drive Servo. The design goals with this servo were to achieve a reasonable maximum torque, high maximum speed, and light weight, all while minimizing reflected inertia. The first three of these, at least, I have a relatively straightforward way of testing here at the desk. Let's get started. The first thing I'll measure is the torque. Torque is the rotational force that the servo can exert, and an SI is measured in newton meters. The simple technique I'll use is to take a one meter long pole, attach it to the servo's output plate with a 3D printed horn, and have that push against a three kilogram digital scale. With a one meter lever arm, one kilogram roughly equals 10 newton meters, which is approximately the range of torque we'd expect from the servo. We'll start by bolting this bracket, which is from the QDD100 dev kit, to the output plate of the servo. Then we can bolt the servo into this desk bracket. And now we can take this pole and insert it and position things. We'll connect up power and data to the servo. and position the scale. We'll set that there so the scale of uh, the pole pushes down on roughly the center of the scale. At this point, I'll switch to showing the output of QDD100 test along with the reported value from the scale. QDD100 test reads a joystick from Linux and takes a single axis using that to command positive or negative torque from the servo. Simultaneously, it reads the current state of the servo over CANFD and reports that to the console. With that set up, I'll try the test at a few increasing torques, at each test point ramping up the torque with the joystick to verify the maximum. We'll start here at 2 newton meters. Ramping that up reads approximately 1.6. And we'll command 4. And then it gets to about 3.7. Do 6. And that gets to just around 6 exactly. We'll do 8. And that's around 8 exactly. Now at this point, we start running into the nonlinear torque constant regime, which the QDD100 doesn't compensate for yet. So at the command of 10 newton meters, We'll see that it only goes up to around 9. And then to test the absolute maximum, I'll just command 25 and see what we get. Now at this test point, I won't be able to hold it for very long without thermal limiting, so we'll just go nice and quick. It's up to around 12.7 or 12.8. Next, we'll go to measure the maximum velocity of the servo. This one is easier since the QD100 already has an internal encoder which is able to accurately measure the velocity. First, we'll have to remove this unsafely long pole. Now we will zoom in on the servo and switch back to the computer. And now we'll use TView to command various open loop Q phase voltages. Watching the reported velocity, 
while simultaneously observing the output horn. We'll open up the plot and plot our velocity. And then we'll command, say, 0.2 volts. And see that the output speed is approximately 0.2 hertz, around 70 degrees per second. We'll go up to 0.4 volts, and that is around 0.4 hertz. We'll do 0.8 hertz, 0.8 volts, and we're up to around 0.6 hertz. We'll try 1.4, and now it's around 1 hertz. So this is around 360 degrees per second. An open loop voltage of 3 gives us a velocity around 2 hertz, which is around 700 degrees per second. At 5, we're up to 3.5. Then at, say, 8, it's being around 5 hertz. And 10, looks to be probably around the maximum at 5.5 hertz. Now, 5.5 hertz is approximately 2,000 degrees per second, which is the maximum speed the platform is able to maintain. You can imagine that would not be fun with a giant pole on the end. We'll slow that back down and bring it to a stop. The final parameter is easiest, the weight. For that, I'll just remove the outboard horn and the desk bracket and put it on a scale. There you go, a weight of 465. And there we have it. We measured the maximum torque at around 12.7 Newton meters, the maximum velocity around 2,000 degrees per second, and a weight of 465 grams. If you want to learn more about the QDD100 Quasi Direct Drive Servo, you can click on the product link in the description below. If you want to see more awesome robot videos, Click like on this video or subscribe to my channel. Thanks.